everyone and a very warm welcome to today's session you know uh, where we have a couple of miles cpa alumni mithul and awesome who cleared cpa who are currently in canada so over the past few months years you know we've been getting a lot of requests from candidates asking about okay hey you know uh, we planning for immigration to canada or we want to immigrate to canada and how does this this work uh, the mra that the the, the aicp and as well the, the us cpa basically has with canada cpa so uh, this session you know again you know this session is just at a top level you know introducing you to what are the possibilities you know and uh, and then you know the uh, the agenda I'll, I'll sort of leave it to you guys to ask a lot of uh, questions to mithil and mossam and who will be able to give you answers from the ground so they are there in canada so they'll be able to answer give you the answers from the from the ground there so we have a little bit of a presentation on this uh, let me yep let me quickly share my share the deck and then run you through this quick 5 to 10 minutes Mithul and Mossam, and then we'll sort of keep it very, very interactive. If that works with you guys, okay? So, guys, uh, we're talking about CP Canada. Uh, we'll we'll talk about the pathway to CP Canada for US uh, CPAs, and that's 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 typically a, a majority of the audience miles. And we'll talk about you know how the US CPA, and then of course the CPA Canada gives you credibility opportunities when you're looking at moving in there. Now, before I proceed further, let me uh, quickly roll out a poll in terms of understanding. where you guys are up standing so give a couple of poll questions which sort of gives us a good understanding of the audience and here you go so number one what's your status on cpa uh, what's your status on canada immigration or rather we have plans for cpa plans for canada or done cpa plans for canada or no plans for cpa no plans for canada just getting information okay i'm going to close the poll now and share results okay So this is interesting. So we have so Mithul and Mossam for your information as well. So we have all sorts of people, you know, people who have done CPA, preparing for CPA, planning for CPA, and then you know we have a few already have PR applications in process, and this is a huge majority who are planning to join you there in Canada. So <laughs> okay, before I think I, I proceed, Mithul Mossam, do you quickly want to introduce yourselves? you know and then I'll, i'll i'll take up and uh, we also have a few people from miles and i'll also get them introduce themselves uh, very quickly so your mute yeah yes sure sure Arun. thank you very much for this uh, session and uh, thank you everyone uh, who ever is joining in this session uh, my name is mithul and uh, i moved to canada in february 2018 uh, i got my chartered accountant and cpa designation when i was in india then i moved to canada i got my local designation that is cpa canada and uh, currently i'm working with a public accounting firm and um, throughout this journey i mean it's been a bumpy ride but we have we have gained a lot of experiences out of this so uh, i'm glad that i'm 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 given a platform to share my experiences with you all guys and uh, thank you all uh, whoever is here attending this session thank you warun thank you team miles for letting us in uh yeah that is about me so over to you mosam yeah thank you thank you varun first of all for having both having both of us here uh my name is mosam and i am a proud alumni of miles uh, our journey began with uh, you know uh, joining miles amdabad and uh, with abus cpa and then landed in canada and uh, got over canadian cpa designation here and um, i'm working in industry so a uh, bit of a varied uh, you know exposure for me to in account public accounting and for me in industry but both cpas so that's about me okay great 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 thanks so thanks mithul and mosam 
so let's let's get going with the session here so okay so i, I just have a few slides i'm going to actually use these slides for context setting uh, we will we'll keep the session uh, very, very very interactive so a quick 5 minute running through slides and then we'll get into the q and a mode so setting the context we're talking about chartered professional accountants so cpa us is certified public accountant here we're talking about chartered professional accountants canada quick overview of cpa canada it's about uh, it's 200000 plus members wide membership uh, base uh, the cpa canada was uh, basically created in the year 2013 you know prior to that you had multiple qualifications in canada you had the ca in canada you had a cga in canada and you had cma in canada and everything merged and it became cpa canada so that's the sort of standard it's like the gold standard for you know accounting professionals uh, especially for those who are looking at working in canada so 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 this is uh, and, and middle and most so many anything that you want to add to this piece in terms of the history of cp canada yeah so here i wanted to add one thing uh the cpa uh, i mean the ca cg and cma designations were different but they they have still they are still allowing to use this uh, designation with your name so you may see some of the names with uh, with a designation called cpa ca or cpa cgma cpa cma so they are allowed to use this name i guess till 2022 and then all of the uh, chartered's will be cpa so either you are a cpa or nothing so Yeah. <laughs> there is no there's no there's no there's going to be no there is way. no other other designation uh, <laughs> there is no other qualification as far as the accounting field is concerned okay great great very nice very nice okay and then so this is sort of provinces uh, in canada and excuse me i'm not so good with geography for canada but uh, you know I, I, uh, so for the for the guys and in 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 uh, you know and folks uh, in india of course we have the states in india uh, and states in india territories and then uh, in in the us you have three states and again five more territories mithul mausam a uh, similar story here right 10 provinces three territories or you know how does it work yeah um, uh, you're right 10 provinces three territories and where we are based is in ontario which is uh, quite the biggest uh, populate you know highly populated in uh, canada and then comes bc but the other ones are the northern provinces and uh, what uh, is interesting about canada is that cpa canada is the main authority uh, that is the uh, deciding authority and then you are you know where you are based in that is your provincial uh, designation so what you are using in essence and for you know uh, comparing your regulations with uh, us mra is cpa canada and that is the authority everything else is you know uh, just provincial you have to just you know uh, maintain your so it, it's uh, more like the state yeah. boards that we have in the us right so multiple yeah. state boards 55 state boards here you're looking at 13 uh, bodies allowed to issue the cpa but but main is yeah okay. main is uh, aicp and here main is cpa canada so uh, yeah i see toronto as well so toronto is also part of the ontario province so uh, and i That's think correct. Uh, great 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 so uh, yep so guys i'm sure those who are those who have applied for a those who have received a pr or applied for a pr know the geography very well and for the rest of us okay hey this is a good map with uh, you know uh, 13 uh, uh, pieces nice okay this was again something that we i think we picked up from the competency framework for uh, cpa canada so this is the typical pathway to cpa canada and we not going to be really going into details here but there are many many exams that i can see here so there's some ac academic prerequisites some core exams elective exams capstone uh, the common final exam so guys this is the pathway to cpa canada if you don't use the mra route. right so if you want to become a cpa and even i think mithul and mosam are short okay hey, what is this uh, so we didn't we didn't do all of this we did no actually <laughs> sorry sorry i wanted to cut you off but actually we did uh, uh, kind of went through all this to before before you know getting into this mra sure. uh, it's a, it's a very very lengthy process to be honest and uh, it's just like a chartered accountants india where you give for cp e exam then c uh, p2 i mean and now it's pcc right Correct. then you give your final examination so here the uh, academic prerequisite where where i i don't see actually there are total 14 uh, prerequisites 14 subjects that uh, you need to clear out and you can also get some exemption based on your uh, prior education qualifications 
so that is one thing and then core one core two elective and elective two are part of pcc if i if i compare it with uh, cad accountancy in india and then capstone one two and cfe which is common final examination is is kind of a final examination and in between you went through the practical training requirement and all that and then at the end you will get your designation so it's yeah. around uh, you can say three or three and a half year process minimum okay 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 so guys you know for those who are looking at getting to the finance and accounting guys looking at getting to canada and you've not yet done your cpa you know buck up <laughs> otherwise this is your chart <laughs> and not to mention the heavy costs okay not to mention the heavy cost okay great okay okay wow interesting okay so this is the typical path to certification to cpa canada and of course uh, you know since the three bodies in canada merged together this is a common pathway for all finance and accounting professionals in canada uh, to get to cpa canada but of course uh, what we are talking about here and what makes it exciting for us is uh, the mra that the, the cpa bodies in the us so the cpa bodies in the us the nasba and the aicp they are represented by the international qualifications appraisal board again those are details they have an mra with all the canadian cpa bodies so that's basically the 10 provinces and the three territories all put together and the mra it's been around for quite a time but the revised mra is from uh, jan 2018 and as per the revised mra there's no additional exams for us cpas to earn canada cpa the few eligibility requirements though that you need to meet you know so you need to have an active us cpa license and you need to be in compliance with your required cpes you need to have 150 credits of education which is anyways prerequisite for the cpa license as as well uh, unless you've gone for the 120 exception and then you have the uh, 24 to 30 month relevant experience which i think is not a problem for most of the people who are moving into canada and i think you know in middle and mausam you got to, you got to correct me if i'm wrong there there are certain requirements that you need to pass the four cpa exams before you land up in canada because if you do that or before you get a residency i think you do you do that after afterwards uh, you know you need to show some us education or some us work ex so you know and you guys could sort of uh, take this over because you guys are hands on sure uh, so here you have nicely sum up the uh, eligibility requirement which is uh, you must have a, a cpa license from us state in good, good standing then you must have 150 hours of requirement for license i mean which you get through your educational assessment and then the 30 month experience requirement Uh, and uh, uh, some of you might think that okay we can we can first pursue our uh, pr process and get our pr and then move to canada and then give our cpa examination well guys uh, here is the thing um, you cannot come here on a resident permit and give the examination of cpa and then use the mra for the benefit of getting cpa canada uh, uh, having said that they have given some um, some relaxation on that uh if you do that i mean after coming here in canada give your examination uh and then apply for the cpa canada designation under this mr then you need to have at least one year of um practical working experience in the us or a uh, one year of full time education qualification from us so you need to have either of these two uh, in a, in order to be eligible for this mr if you are already in canada and give your cpa us examination so a very good point mithil so i'm assuming with the audience that we have today people are not looking at doing a doing education in the us which again is a very very expensive affair as well for sure and uh, working in the us uh, i think that's that's also not an option that people have uh, here so given that these two options are out guys so the point here is if you are looking at immigrating to canada and trying to use the mra for cpa us to get the canadian cpa you will have to pass the cpa exams before you get to canada and uh, now that the cpa exams are in india i think life gets even easier you know for you to actually appear for the cpa exams clear them in and then head to canada yep mithul uh, yeah. mausam anything you want to add to this no i think yes you have summed it all uh, very well uh, that's the that's the whole thing the best idea is to do everything from india or wherever you are based in apart from canada and uh, you know finish it up and then come here you can uh, get your license after coming here no problem but you have to clear all your exams that's the only catch um, yeah 
And okay. as I said earlier, also, it becomes a very costly affair if you are coming here and doing everything else. Perfect. Perfect. Great. So I think this is sorted. And then uh, this is a slide where a lot of people have questions. The immigration to Canada. One of the stats that, you know, I think the team was able to dig out is Canada is looking at a mi- over a million immigrants over the next few years. I'm not so good with the pathways and I let Mithul and Mawson take over, but there are a lot of pathways. But one of one among them which stands out is the express entry system. And the good thing about the Canadian uh, immigration, for those who are looking at it, you don't need a job offer to immigrate, right? You know, and that's that's that sort of makes it easy. Uh, so you can get to Canada and then look out for a job. And, you know, of course, that's an easier way where you can go for interviews and all of that. And, uh, you know, once you have your US CPA, with your MRA, you can get the Canadian CPA and then, you know, the extensive job opportunities. Uh, Mithil and Mossum, if you could add to this entire thing and then, because there are a lot of questions that I see on the chat and I'm going to be shooting those questions over to you. Uh, sure, yes. Um, uh, I think the slide has mentioned uh, very clearly about uh, the process of immigration and, you know, uh, what you got to do and all the documentation uh, you can all find out from the IRCC website. The first and foremost thing that I would, you know, uh, like to mention over here is that uh, always go for uh, an agent or somebody, an expert who, immigration agent per se, who is registered with IRCC. That's the first thing that uh, everybody should do to, you know, just be sure to, uh, you know, ensure the legitimacy. Uh, once that is done, um, uh, the express entry system is very, very, very easy. You got to give your IELTS and, uh, uh, you know, gather your paperwork as regards to your work experience and education. And uh, there is a point system there. So say, for example, if there is a cutoff of 440 points, in, uh, you have to uh, uh, calculate and um, uh, very easily the calculator is also available on the IRCC website. So you just got to calculate your points and then see where you stand and what you're lacking and work on it and then once uh, the point uh, system is uh, up to your uh, you know uh, eligibility you got to put your file in and then once uh, you are in they assess everything and then they give you a letter of invitation uh, when you get that you provide all your physical documentation to um, IRCC and then uh, goes on forward the waiting period and uh, once everything is in order you're in good standing with whatever you have uh, claimed to uh, you are in you get your your PR letter that's that's the whole uh, process for immigration Uh, and you are not a PR until unless you land in Canada so even if you have got your PR and you have to you know clear one exam don't worry, uh, there is no fuss about it. Just wait. Uh, there is some time period between uh, attaining your uh, COPR and coming here and taking that letter. So uh, just be sure about, uh, you know, uh, abiding to that rule and uh, then you're good to go. Uh, this is a very, very top level presentation in terms of, you know, the MRA and then immigration to Canada. And, I, and, and some people have way more uh, specific queries so uh, and I can see a lot on the chat I would have loved to get you know I'll act like a moderator here I'll just shoot questions to uh, Mossam and Mithul and then you guys can take over okay one of the question is uh, do we still need to write IELTS exam once we pass CPA so is that a must yes it is a must because uh, your IELTS is for your PR eligibility sure uh, CPA is not. So if you want to immigrate to Canada, IELTS is a must. 